when it comes to marriage equality. In just about the last 30 minutes or so, the U.S. Senate passed a bill to protect same-sex and interracial marriages, making them federal law. It's called the Respect for Marriage Act. Jason Berry is in our newsroom tonight to explain the significance of this bill. Jason? Well, there's been a lot of speculation that the U.S. Supreme Court could potentially overturn its decision to protect same-sex marriage. So a bipartisan group of senators decided to step in and provide same-sex couples some peace of mind. Like, there we are, right there. That's us. David Patterson can't help but smile every time he looks at himself and his husband, Kevin, on the front page of the newspaper back in 2014. David and Kevin were the first same-sex couple in Arizona to get married, following the U.S. Supreme Court's landmark ruling on marriage equality. Just the joy and fulfillment we felt in that day was something. It, it solidified me and Kevin as a couple. It solidified us as a family. And I know to some people it's just paperwork. But to us, it really was, um, it, was a, it was a gift. The Pattersons have made the most of their marriage, raising two daughters, living like any other Phoenix family. But the couple has been concerned lately that the right of same-sex couples to marry could come under attack again if the now conservative-leaning Supreme Court gives states back the right to ban same-sex marriages. In a preemptive attempt to protect same-sex marriage, Congress is pushing forward a bipartisan bill to protect same-sex and interracial marriage called the Respect for Marriage Act. People were realizing, you know... Gene Woodbury is interim director of Equality Arizona. Woodbury says the Respect for Marriage Act would ensure that all couples have the same legal rights. Everyone said Roe v. Wade was the law of the land until all of a sudden it wasn't. So it's not enough to rely on the courts for these really basic fundamental liberties. Immigration status, health care, visitation, housing. Marriage equality does a lot to protect that for same-sex couples in the way that it's already protected for straight couples. That's great. And Patterson admits passage of the Respect for Marriage Act will provide peace of mind for his family and thousands of other same-sex couples knowing their right to marry can't be taken away. But there is a sense of sadness that this is still an issue up for debate. With the idea that Congress is taking, uh, uh, codifying this into law is, is kind of bittersweet. Like, why do we have to do that? Why is this something that's coming under attack and it's politicizing my personal life? And to me, that's, that's the antithesis of what we hope to have as Americans. Now, it's important to point out the Respect for Marriage Act will not set a national requirement that all states must legalize same-sex marriage, but it will require individual states recognize other states' legal marriage. The bill now moves to the U.S. House for a full vote where it's expected to pass, then on to the president's desk. In the newsroom, Jason Berry for Arizona's Family. Jason.